Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Sorry, I cannot remember the day, the date, the time, nothing. Anyway, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. <laughs> I live in the Chicago area with my daughter, whose nickname is Carrots, and um, the zoo, I call it uh, affectionately. We have a dog and some reptiles and a fish tank, and uh, it's all kinds of nonsense here. So anyway, welcome, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, for those of you who are new here, I actually do regular videos, but lately we've had so many donations to Wings that it seems like I'm only doing Wings update videos, um, but that's okay. That's a good thing. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Wings, Wings is a domestic violence organization based here in the Chicagoland area, and they are one of the few places that I found that will accept handmade donations. So um, I will have more information in the description box down below. Um, we are doing this charity uh, event all year round uh, for this year. I'm not sure about next year yet. And uh, we have quite a few, you can see there's lots of boxes, quite a few donations for today. Um, a little heads up, I did put out a special request for baby blankets about a week and a half ago, and they only requested 50. And with the first set of boxes that I got, we already had almost 50. So I'm going to make another request to everyone right now. If you could please not send any more baby blankets, they have enough. So um, I know that there will be some in this video and probably some in the next video, but if you haven't sent them, please do not send any more baby blankets. Okay, so um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, every month we have um, giveaways. And sometimes it's just one and sometimes it's a couple. It depends on yarn that's been donated or if someone wants to donate a pattern. So for the month of October, um, we have two donations uh for giveaways that you guys might have already heard about. The first one is um, a box of yarn. And what I found is some baby yarn that I used to use to make baby blankets. And I figured that that would be appropriate as a giveaway is to give away some baby blanket yarn. So I will probably show that box in the next video. Um, the other uh, item that we already knew was going to be a giveaway was a pattern from a YouTuber here. Her name is Anaya's Toy Box. That's the name of her channel. And her name is Alyssa. So someone will also get a pattern from um, Anaya's toy box. Now, we also have another person who wanted to contribute um, and help us with a giveaway. And that person is Dana from Wanderlust Crochet. And um, you guys should go check her out. I will link um, Anaya's Toy Box and Dana from Wanderlust Crochet down below. And she is actually going to donate a $25 Amazon gift card. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Dana. It's amazing. Thank you. So we will actually have three giveaways for the month of October for people who donate. Um, okay, now let's get started. Um, the Last thing uh, before we actually do get started with donations is I wanted to let you guys know that we have had such great success with wings this year. Um, and what I'm going to do is because I have um, a lot of stuff coming up with family and the holidays are coming up, um, is we are going to stop taking donations as of November 20th. So that'll be right before Thanksgiving. So please, if you did plan on donating hats, scarves, washcloths, stress balls, um, stuffed loveys, whatever you guys were thinking of donating, please donate before November 20th. So if we could have, um, if you do want to donate anything, please donate it by November 20th. Um, it's not like I'm not going to accept it after that, but I would really prefer to have a break for November, the end of November and all of December from wings. Okay. And then we'll talk about if we're going to do it next year. All right. So you guys ready for the first box? There's a lot of boxes. All right. So the first box is actually two boxes. Now here is the first one and here is the second one. So these boxes came from Jack's 
And Jax also has a channel here on YouTube. It is Creations by Jax. Now, we had also something earlier this year called the Blanket Brigade, which we will still have things coming in from that. And that was when I asked you guys to make 6-inch and 12-inch squares, not thinking we would get so many squares that I wouldn't be able to handle it. And um, a, quite a few people offered to be a part of the Blanket Brigade, which means I sent them the squares, they put it together, and then they shipped the blankets completed back to me. And this was because Wings asked for twin size blankets. So Jax sent her completed blanket. Thank you, Jax. And um, she did send a card. So I'm going to show you the card that she sent first. Um, it's just got this pretty <laughs> border around it. And she says, Hi, Rose. I made a few items for wings, just a couple hats, cowl, and scarf. Also finally finished the blankie. I will get a baby blanket to you ASAP. Love, Jax. Okay, so Jax actually sent, in the little box, she sent this hat and cowl set. Very nice. She sent a scarf. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? It's beautiful. And then she sent two hats. Oh, I love this one. Jax, what's the pattern? <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the blanket that she made. Okay, guys, and as in regular of the, all the other videos, when people send me back um, a blanket, I usually can't show it to you, like, completely. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you just a little bit of this. And, um, oh, my God, it's so pretty. I don't even remember these squares. But, like, everyone should be so proud of themselves. If you guys sent a square, um, it's, in, it's in a blanket. I promise you it's in someone's blanket. So I am going to go and throw this on the bed and take a picture of it, and I'll insert the picture right here. Okay, you guys, so the next person, oh, by the way, thank you so much, Jax, for the donations. So the next person also sent two boxes. Um, one of them is this huge box right here, and this is Barbara, and I'm not going to pronounce her last name because um, I'm just not going to be able to, Barbara S., <laughs> and she is from Montezuma, Georgia. So she sent two boxes. Here is the card. And it says, thank you. And it says, dear Rose, I was so happy when you said you need baby blankets for wings. I've been working through my stash and made these seven blankets. Thank you for doing this year long charity and allowing us to be a part of it with love, Barbara S. She did spell out her last name, but I'm not going to try. <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you the baby blankets in a second, but she also sent some washcloths. So we'll go through those because they're beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sending all of these washcloths. So by the way, you guys can send washcloths up until November 20th. That would be amazing. Look at those. And there's that. And she also sent another card because, you know, she had two boxes. So there's that card. <laughs> and this card says... I'm so happy to be able to donate to this worthy cause. Thank you for putting this together for us makers to participate in. I love you and your channel, your friend, Barbara. Okay, so that was the second card. <laughs> All right, so there was the washcloths. Then she sent some sets. There's a hat and a cowl. Oh, it's so pretty. Here is another hat and cowl. Oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. Hat and a cowl. Okay, Barbara, can you tell us what pattern that is? It's beautiful. Here is a hat and a cowl. She also sent um, two of these zippered makeup bags. Those are gorgeous. And then she sent a hat and a scarf. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, my pile is getting big here, you guys. <laughs> um, here, let's do this. And then here is another hat and a scarf. They're so pretty. Here is another hat and scarf. Oh, you guys are awesome, seriously. And then here is another hat and scarf. <laughs> and then she sent this set, which is two hats to go with this scarf. <laughs> and then, yes, I know, Barbara's been busy. 
here is another hat and scarf. So that is incredible. Thank you so much, Barbara, for the hat and scarves and the dishcloths. And now I'm gonna show you guys the baby blankets that she sent. Okay, you guys, this was the other box <laughs> that Barbara sent. It popped open on the bottom. It's crazy, it's huge. There's seven baby blankets in here. Let me show you. Okay, here is baby blanket number one. And this is with like that baby bird, the blanket yarn, the Bernat blanket yarn. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay, here is another one in the Bernat blanket yarn or whatever that stuff is. There's two. Here is number three. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the colors. Here is number four. Here is number five. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Here is number six. That's not Barbara's fault. I folded it wrong. <laughs> and look at this one. It's adorable number seven. So Barbara, thank you so much for sending all the baby blankets and the hats and scarves and the washcloths. You are incredible. Thank you so much. Okay, we got a lot to go. Hang on. All right, guys. So this next bag came from Yarn Nut. Oh my goodness. And Yarn Nut is one of my neighbors up to the north from Wisconsin. So hello. And she sent this adorable little card. And she says, Rose, thanks for giving me the chance to participate in this wonderful cause. It is a cause near and dear to my heart. And this is Gia, the yarn nut. Hi, Gia. How you doing? So Gia sent a baby blanket. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's also made from like that Bernat blanket yarn and it's gorgeous and thank you so much for sending this I am very excited that uh, we very much um, made our goal of 50 blankets <laughs> so uh thank you so much yarn nut I believe she has a channel um if she does I will link it down in the description box below okay we got some more Okay, so this next box came from Lisa Hall, and she is really, really my neighbor. Like, she lives in Illinois, not too far from me. <laughs> and she does have a channel here on YouTube, and it is called Lily's Crochet, also known as Lisa Lisa. So I will link her channel in the description box down below. And this is the card that she sent. It's gorgeous says my heartfelt thanks and she says you are so thoughtful you are so kind you are so appreciated love Lisa oh Lisa thank you okay so she stuffed a lot in that little box I'm going to show you guys so she put in this beautiful cowl which is great for Chicago because then you can wear it like this and tuck this into your coat and she knows all about Chicago weather because she lives here <laughs> so and then she sent this really cool I don't know what this is, like um, like a shoulder shrug. So it goes around your shoulders and you put your arms in there and it keeps your shoulders warm. So that's really cool. I've never actually like made one of these and I've never seen one. So thanks for showing me that. <laughs> All right, and then she is a girl after my own heart and sent a Chicago Bears colored divine hat and then a uh, messy bun. Oh, this is also divine, but it's messy bun. And then here is another adorable hat. And then we have a scarf and ear warmer set. Okay, so there's the ear warmer. And then there is the scarf to match it. Oh my gosh, all of these items are just beautiful. Lisa, thank you so much for sending them. And uh, hopefully one day uh, we can all, that we live so close together, we can all get together and meet up. So, okay, so that was Lisa. Let's get to the next one. Okay, you guys, so this next box came from Marianne Andrews, and she is from Alabama. And Marianne did not leave a note in the box, but I believe she emailed me and said she was sending these, these baby blankets. So um, she put, in that little tiny box, she put three baby blankets in there. So let me show you. And these are just special. Look at that. So there is one, and then this one, Looks like one of those star blankets. That's two. And then look at this one, you guys. Oh, I love it. 
three. It's like a little corner to corner. So Marianne, thank you so much for sending the baby blankets. I so appreciate it. Um, I love that two of these, well, one is a boy color, one is neutral. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm really excited to uh, put them over the edge on, on the donations. Okay, ready for the next one? So the next one I don't have a box for, but uh, this is from... The lady who works at the PetSmart, because let me tell you guys, I am at PetSmart a lot. <laughs> um, she buys lots of items from my Etsy shop, the lady who works at PetSmart. Um, she's bought, we have custom made some stuff for her. Hi, Nicole, if you're watching. And um, she purchased a cowl that I made. It's the three button cowl. Um, and when I went in there to go and deliver it to her, she actually gave me a bag of crocheted items that her mom made and that um, they agreed to donate to the Wings charity. So um, her name is Tony, I believe. Hi, Tony, Nicole's mom. And what she did is she gave us a shawl. Um, they're not collecting shawls right now, so don't send any. But, you know, this was like something I picked up like right there at the pet store. So we have one shawl and then we actually have a little child size blanket, which by the way, they're not accepting child size blankets either, <laughs> but it's okay. But look at this pink and purple and um, it's, you know, a big baby, right? A big baby blanket. <laughs> so I want to say thank you so much to Nicole. And I want to say thank you to her mom for um, thinking about wings and donating these two items. So thank you so much. Okay, we got more. Okay, you guys, so this next box, huge box, is from Tammy Cook. Hi, Tammy, and she is also my neighbor, but a little bit to the east. Uh, she's from Indiana, and uh, she sent me a note, and Tammy, um, Tammy donates all the time. So, hi, Tammy. Thank you so much. All right, Tammy says, hello again, friend. So, Rose, thank you for letting myself and others help in a time of need. The plastic bags had men's Father's Day stuff, but hubby said take out the razors and soap and send the cloths and the rags. You can give them to Wings or put them in a giveaway. Um, and then um, the rest she made. Sincerely, Tammy. So Tammy, thank you so much. These are the towels, which they can definitely use. Thank you. And then she sent this adorable diaper bag. Okay, so I say adorable, you guys, because check out the colors. It's like a scrap diaper bag, and it's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Now in the bag, oh, and it's got like a big pocket. In the bag, she put like a water bottle and a baby bottle. And oh my gosh, there's another water bottle. There are some um, wet wipes in here. And there is um, like a little organizer too. So, oh my gosh, Tammy, this is incredible. Thank you so much for filling up the diaper bag. It's awesome. Um, we're not accepting diaper bags anymore for wings, just so you guys know. So if you have something like that, hang on to it. Hopefully next year um, they will request those again. Okay, and then she sent two hat and scarf sets. Hang on. Okay, so these are the two hat and scarf sets. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Hat and scarf. And she even attached the yarn band for them. And then here is a second one. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty red heart baby sport so tammy thank you so much for the hat and scarves and the diaper bag and the towels and the other item that was in the box i really appreciate it okay let's get to the next one guys this next box is from kim macklin and she is from pennsylvania so hello pennsylvania and kim sent me a, a note and it says, hi, Rose, great to be able to donate these items. As I mentioned in my post, a coworker's mother passed away and she is generously gifting me with all of mom's stash. I believe there are five baby blankets that are in the box. The credit for these should go to Gwendolyn Nash. Her daughter, Beverly, was excited I would be sharing her mom's work. The hooded scarves are from Crystal's Bag O' Day patterns. The hats are too. Anyway, thanks for letting me share. Best wishes from Kim Macklin. Thank you so much, Kim. Thank you so much, Gwendolyn. Thank you so much, Beverly, for thinking about donating these items to Wings. Okay, so we have a hooded scarf. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so lovely, and it looks like there is a matching headband. And then we have just a plain black scarf. 
and we have a hat and scarf set. It's, it's like chunky and beautiful. <laughs> and then we have, it looks like another hooded scarf. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's so pretty. And then we have two hats. They're really thick and chunky too. It's perfect for Chicago. I have another ear warmer. And then I'm gonna show you the blankets. You guys, these are beautiful. Thank you so much for allowing us to, do to donate these to Wings. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, five, and six. Oh my goodness, six blankets. So thank you so, so much, Kim, for um, for getting these and for shipping them and for uh, for everyone who is who played part in donating these blankets to Wings. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get to the next one, guys. All right, this next box is from Karen Nelson, and she is from Charlotte, North Carolina. So here is the card she sent, so pretty, and she says, Hi Rose, hope you and the family are doing good, and closed our baby blankets. I also sent a set of Ella's No Catchy Name Project Bag and Notion Pouch. You can keep this or use this for a prize. Thank you for organizing the project. Love your videos, your upbeat attitude, and your shut the front door makes me laugh every time. Sometimes it just requires a shut the front door, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's look at the baby baby blankets. So here is one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Here is another one. It's gorgeous. And here is a third one. Oh my gosh, you guys are doing such a phenomenal job on these baby blankets. All right. And then here is the project bag and the notions pouch from Ella at No Catchy Name. So I think this would be great to put in a giveaway maybe for November. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, so thank you so much for the box of donations and for this, and I really appreciate it. This is really super exciting. And um, let's get to the next box. All right, so this next box is from Jennifer Burr, and she is from Missouri. Hey, Missouri. <laughs> And she sent this adorable card and she writes, Rose, I wanted to let you know that making these items was a pure joy. All the items are acrylic for easy cleaning. The baby blanket is Fiber Spiders 9 point star that is really an 8 point. <laughs> I'll let him know. Thank you for allowing us to help wings out in your area as my area isn't taking handmade items. Yours and yarn, Jennifer Burr. So Jennifer, thank you so much for thinking about sending the donations here. We really appreciate it. So I'm gonna show you guys what she sent. So there's some hats. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And then there's scarves, my favorite color. <laughs> this one's so cool. It's like a puffy scarf. Here is another one. And this one's really cool because it's a granny square scarf. And then we have some sets. Here is a hat and a scarf. And then here is another hat and a scarf. Oh my gosh, that yarn is so pretty. And then here is another hat and a scarf set. And then here is the baby blanket. So, oh my gosh, Jennifer, thank you so much for thinking of sending these to us. Um, I can't wait to bring these to Wings so that they can get them. It's getting really cold here in Chicago. Now, don't let the temperature fool you. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees tomorrow, but that's probably going to be the last time we see that. So, Jennifer, thank you so much. Okay, we got a few more, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys, this humongous box <laughs> is from Shirley Spring, and she is from Washington. And she stuffed this so much <laughs> with baby blankets. They were all in individual plastic bags, so thank you so much. I'm going to put the box down here and just put the baby blankets in there when I show you. Um, she sent a little, a little note, and it says... Uh, one dozen baby blankets from Shirley Spring. She says, hi Rose, so happy to help with this request for wings. Hope the enclosed blankets will find a good home. Shirley Spring from Washington. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Shirley. Okay, are you guys ready? Cause they're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. So this one is like all sparkly. Probably can't see that, but it's beautiful. So there's one, here is two. I love the pastel colors. Here is three, four, 
five, six, check this one out, you guys, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, oh my God, that's so pretty. <laughs> and this one is 12 and they're all beautiful. And Shirley, thank you so much for sending the baby blankets. This was amazing. They're all very, very beautiful and they will all go to a good home. So thank you so much. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? Hang on. This next box is from Virginia and Virginia is also from Pennsylvania. So hello, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and this is a pretty big box. And uh, sorry guys, the doorbell rang. <laughs> I don't even know where I was. Okay. She sent me a note. Uh, this is from Virginia. Hi Rose. I forgot to get a card. It's okay. You guys don't have to get cards. Um, I hope wings can use these hats. They were made with a lot of love. Thanks for all you do. Oh my gosh, Virginia. Okay. You guys, I think there's like 50 hats in here. Are you ready? Cause it's a lot. I'm going to show them quick. Okay. So there's one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Virginia, you're a girl after my own heart with these divine hats, right? So there's 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 hats, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh my gosh, and these are all so beautiful. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, that's sparkly. <laughs> 49, that, one, that side looks better and 50. So, oh my gosh, Virginia, 50 hats. You are amazeballs. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to bring these to wings so that they can have them. I think someone last time sent like a lot of scarves. So now they'll be able to pick and choose hats to go with the scarves. So Virginia, thank you so, so much. Okay. We have a few more boxes, guys. This next box is from Velda. Hi, Velda. And she is from Iowa. She is my neighbor to the West. Hello, Iowa. <laughs> and she sent this beautiful card. And she says, Rose, thank you for your dedication to the Wings program. I'm sending baby, one baby blanket and I couldn't resist putting in a binky buddy. Your yarny friend from Iowa, Velda. Okay, so you guys, this is a binky buddy. You see this? It ties to the binky so that the binky will never, ever get lost. You will always find it. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much. And then here is the blanket. Oh my gosh, it's so soft and squishy and it's white and it will match any any baby, any outfit they're wearing um, and it's perfect. So Velda, thank you so much for sending the binky buddy and the blanket. I really appreciate it. You're amazing. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so this next big box is from Barbara Kindle, and she is from Florida. So hi, Barbara. I'm sure you guys are enjoying the weather there. This is the card, and she writes, Hi, Rose. Baby blankets are my favorite thing to crochet. Alas, no babies in my life. Hope <laughs> wings can use these. Love all you do from Barb K. Okay, so I'll show you the baby blankets in a second. They're right there. Um, she sent this adorable little pumpkin, which I believe can be used as like a, oh, it's like one of those pull apart ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool toy. Yeah, I'm going to definitely give this to wings and let them know that this is like one of those pull aparts. Very pretty. And then she sent two hats. 
Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. This looks like the Bag O'Day chocolate bonbon beanie. Looks perfect. So thank you for these. Now let me show you the baby blankets. Okay, here is the first one. Oh, so beautiful. So there's one. Here is a beautiful granny square. There's two. I love the granny stripe, you guys. There's three. Here is four. Here is five. Oh my gosh. Six. Wow, that is so pretty. And then seven. Oh my gosh, and it's all purples. And you know I love purples. So seven baby blankets. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely incredible. Um, Barb, thank you so much for thinking about sending these to Wings. Um, I don't usually make baby blankets for the same reason. Uh, there's no babies in my life. So <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I cannot wait to bring these to Wings. All right. We have like three or four more boxes. Guys. All right, so I have two boxes from the same person here and this is from Dixie and she is from Texas. And I believe she donated in the last video too. And she sent me lots and lots of baby blankets. Um, no note or card, which is totally fine. Remember, you guys don't have to send a note or a card. And um, let me show you the baby blankets. So this was the first big box that she sent. This was the second box she sent. <laughs> so let me show you the blankets. All right, are you guys ready? One, two, three, Four. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got to show you the border there. And ten. Oh my goodness, Dixie, thank you so much. Ten baby blankets. You guys, I think we probably have over a hundred right now. <laughs> so this is incredible. Thank you so much for donating the baby blankets and sending both of the boxes. I really appreciate it. And just as a reminder, everybody, don't send any more baby blankets, okay? All right, two more boxes. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this monster box is from Hope, and Hope actually has a channel here on YouTube. It is Hope Mahoney's Hopeful Crafts, I believe. I will link her down below, and she is from New York, and she sent me a card. Let me show you. Oh, how sweet. All right, so she says here, hi, Rose. I am enclosing the baby blankets, I promise. There are also some beads that I hope you can use in your stitch markers. Thanks for all you do for the crochet and shelter communities. You have such a tender and generous heart. Oh, it ain't tender. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stay safe and don't forget to vote. Oh yes, I'll be voting. Love and loops. Hope from Rochester. And she says, by the way, you don't have to enter me for any giveaways for this donation. I have more yarn than I'll ever use. <laughs> and then she put a smiley face. Well, Hope, let me know in the comments if, if it's a pattern, would you still want to win it? Or, um, the gift card, let me know so I can enter you into those. Okay, so let me show you. She sent me some beads. Those are so pretty. For those of you who don't know, I do have an Etsy shop and I make stitch markers and I just updated the shop, but I haven't had a chance to show everything on video. So there's lots of new stitch markers in there. Okay, let's show the baby blankets. So here is the first one. It's gorgeous. Here is the second one. Oh my gosh, these are just beautiful, Hope. Here is the third one. Wow, these are incredible. And then here is the fourth one. Wow, thank you so, so much, Hope, for sending those baby blankets and the beads. I really, really appreciate it. You rock. Okay, one more box, guys. All right, you guys. So this big copy paper box is from... Lisa, and she is also my neighbor to the north, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? All right, I really don't know Lisa, but um, it would be cool if we could all meet up since we're all so close. <laughs> all right, this is the card she sent, and she says, 
Rose, I am enclosing some blankets as well as a bunch of dishcloths and face scrubbies, which were made from my mother-in-law's stash of cotton that I inherited when she passed. I found the perfect way to use it and also help someone else. Thank you for managing this collection effort. <laughs> it is an effort. So thank you so much, Lisa, for thinking about sending your stuff to Wings here in Chicago. Um, just so you guys know, it's not just for women and children. There is also men in the shelter in the safe houses and so we appreciate everything that you are sending so okay so here are the little scrubbies and she put them in little baggies thank you so much oh they're perfect I love them okay then we have a lot of washcloths are you guys ready <laughs> there's a lot and they're so nice um, and just so you guys know, the safe houses can always use stuff like this. So if you would really like to donate and you only have one or two washcloths, it's perf It's absolutely perfect. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Oh, look, a knitted one. How did you sneak that one in there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. By the way, you guys, they will take knitted items too. Um, there is another knitted dishcloth. Um, I don't knit because um, Rose likes crochet. Um, actually, I'm fibbing. I have knitted before, like a long time ago, and maybe one day I'll show you guys my uh, washcloth that was supposed to be a square. It didn't turn out to be square. <laughs> All right, and, the, and I also find it faster to crochet. That's just my opinion. All right, so that is a huge pile of washcloths. Thank you so much. And then we have three baby blankets. All right, so here is the first one. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. Here is the second one. And here is the third one. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely amazing. So you guys, that's it for today. <laughs> this was a lot. Thank you to everyone who donated. I really appreciate it. Wings really appreciates it. Um, just a few reminders. We will have three winners for October. I know October is about more than halfway over. Um, please do not send any more baby blankets. And the deadline for any donations is going to be November 20th. So you guys are getting a break. I'm going to get a break and the poor lady at Wings is going to get a break trying to figure out where to, what, to, what to do with all this. She knows what to do with it. I'm kidding, but um, we want to, I, I need to take a break. So November 20th will be the last day to get your donations to me. Um, please do not send any more baby blankets and I will have more information down below. If there was a channel that I mentioned, uh, that channel will be mentioned in the description box. And there's, there'll be a link. And please remember to leave a comment, um, a positive comment, some kind words. Um, the people who donate should be praised for sure. If you can't donate, please don't feel bad. Um, look at everyone who is donating on your behalf. Think of it that way. So that is it, you guys. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.